Well, more people than ever recorded expect to be traveling this Thanksgiving holiday. So how do passengers get up to the second information about where airplanes are in the sky? Ashar Qureshi shows us. Traveling during the holidays can be fun for some. The airport looks really cool with all the Christmas decorations. But not so much for others. Not really any good parts. It's all pretty terrible. Lines are bad. I mean, you can see it here. This year, an estimated 4.45 million Americans will fly for the Thanksgiving holiday, a 4.6% increase from last year. I try to plan accordingly, to be honest, so I try to avoid all the traffic, but I just don't know. Knowing what's happening with air traffic at any given moment in time is half the battle. Well, there's an app for that. And the information is aggregated here in Houston. Welcome to the headquarters of FlightAware. If you're on the go, we have a great app. Sharon Goodenough is the director of data solutions for FlightAware. The Houston-based company is the world's largest flight tracking and data platform, with over 10 million people using the web and mobile application each month. We're tracking over 160 unique aircraft all around the world. One popular feature is the misery map. It's basically a high-level overview of what is being impacted nationwide. And you can zoom in per airport level and see how many delays and cancellations are occurring between certain segments or at a specific airport. FlightAware receives and processes over 60 distinct data feeds from all over the world, including the FAA, global air traffic control, airlines, and defense support satellites. Goodenough says it took over 200 man years to develop their proprietary hyperfeed, and the next step is to go beyond real time tracking to forecasting. We're working on predictive technology efforts so we can just provide way better insight into what to expect for the flight. Tracking everything from flight status to turbulence at your fingertips. Attention on the Reporting from Houston, I'm Usher Qureshi.